All right, hey everyone, Riley here from becominganelectrician.com. In this video, I wanna to talk to you about before mounting boxes on studs, what you need to be thinking about before getting into like the, um, the rough end stage, okay? So I'm gonna be coming up with a bunch of series of videos talking about how to install a single gang box, how to install a double gang box. Um, you can see here that I just have a switch. We have the mounting height. The little line is saying we want to mount it on the left side of the stud. Then there's also an X for what's called a scab, which we will talk about in upcoming videos. Um, but in this video, I just want to talk about some things that are very, very important to know before you start mounting your box heights, because when you work in a more commercial setting, it's very, very important that you look at the job site specs. You understand about above finish floor. That's what AFF means. Typically, it's always easiest to mount your box to the top of the box. Some people like to do center. If you do bottom of the box, it makes it so hard. You always have to crouch over. So top of the box is by far the easiest. And then again, we'll talk about scabs, okay? So before getting into this video, again, don't forget about my free book for apprentice electricians. Just go to becominganelectrician.com forward slash subscribe. Okay, so the first thing I wanna talk about is AFF. AFF means above finish floor. And technically that means that if the floor has carpet, that is the finished floor. If the floor has hardwood, that is the finished floor. Now, when you go into a condo, the very, very first floor is concrete because typically they have a parkade, okay? So on the, in the very, very back of the prints, when they have what's called the job site specs, and this is a huge mistake that even you know, professionals, expert electricians make all the time. They forget to look in the job site specs because they go from one job to the next. So your job site specs are typically on the, like in the very, very back of your electrical prints. And they tell you specific things for that job that the engineer wants regarding the box heights, uh, the certain maybe, maybe uh, certain types of boxes. Um, sometimes they even say that they want the whole building in pipe. Right. So sometimes, you know, you can see right here, I have um, NMD 90 just lying right there. But sometimes they might say we want it in armored cable. Um, OK, so again, the job site specs is your number one place to go to at the beginning of the job. You make all your notes and then when you go out in the field, then, you know, you're not going to make any mistakes. For example, the engineer might say um, we want 47 inches to center of box. So for example, if they were saying center of box, I would go center of box. And again, when the box is center, you really, it, like, it's so hard to get center of a box, okay? When it's top of box, if it was like this, it's so much easier. You just hold it, you put your screw in and you're done. But when it's center of box, what I personally would do is I would do this. I would make a quick mark right there. I would then take my tape measure find out what that measurement is, write it down, and I would give it to the apprentices and say, this is the height that you're mounting your boxes. Because when things are center, what happens is some people might mount it here, some people might mount it there. When it's top of box, there's way less room for air, okay? And again, if someone is trying to do bottom of box, it's so hard to see, because what happens is you, your, um, your actual hand is always in the way, and you don't really see like, like what's going on. Like you're always blocking the bottom of the box. So the top of the box is by far the easiest, okay? So again, you look in the back specs, the engineer says what height they want certain boxes at. If they're asking to center, find out what center is, find out what top of box is, and that's what you're gonna make uh, the boxes. Okay. It makes life so easy. And one other thing just to quickly say, so this is for what's called just like general switches and general plugs. But when you have, let's say two boxes and they're separate boxes and they're right beside each other, that is where you should be measuring to the screw hole. Okay. When you have very, very important plugs that have to be level such as kitchen counter plugs, because when they have their back tile and the grout lines, you, you measure to the screw hole, okay? So just remember that if we're measuring our heights for boxes, these are what's just called general switches and plugs. It doesn't really matter as much. These are just general. When it comes from for really serious plugs, you wanna measure to the screw hole height for both plugs. And then they will be the exact, or like very, very close and very, very level, okay? Again, I just wanted to talk about above finish floor. Okay, because if you're working on the very, very first floor in a condo, 
this gets a lot of people because you can see right here we have the bottom plate, right? And this bottom plate, there's only one two by four. But it typically in condos, when you go to the second floor, the third floor, uh, the fourth floor, what happens is there's actually two pieces of two by four on your bottom plate. So let's just imagine that there was two two by fours on here because that is what it's like in a condo on the second floor, the third floor, the fourth floor. What happens is they come, they pour the concrete, the liquid concrete, and now essentially you are only left with one two by four again, and it gets a lot of people. So what I'm saying is if this is concrete, you can measure your, your actual 48, no problem. If it's plywood, you have to remember that there's two bottom plates, and which means that when they pour the concrete, they pour it up to the first bottom plate, which means that if it was 48, that means that all your measurements on second, third, and fourth floor are actually gonna be 49 and a half because a two by four is actually an inch and a half, okay? Otherwise, all your switches will be an inch and a half uh, too short. And this has happened so many times where they box the whole floor, they realize, oh no, you have to bring all your boxes up. Plugs, switches, it's the worst, right? So going back and redoing things, you always want to try to avoid as an electrician. So if the engineer is saying we want 48 to the top of your switch, that is off of the finished floor, such as the concrete. If you don't have concrete and you have two bottom plates, your finished floor is now gonna be an inch and a half higher, okay? Now, I'm gonna create another video about scabs, okay? That's kind of a, a, kind of a weird word. So for example, you have one X, that would be one piece of wood, you would screw it in, and then again, you wanna measure your height, and then now your box is out. And typically, this is around door frames. You never want to have your switch right on the door frame. You wanna actually have it off one or two, uh, just so it's, it's kind of, um, you know, you're not risking any cutting into the door frame or anything like that. So I've usually found about 10 inches is good because it gives a lot of up and down for the box. It allows you to screw in pretty good. There's not too much waste. And again, so that's just called a scab. So that's it for um, what you need to think about before you get into mounting your box heights. Again, I'm more speaking to more of a commercial electrician who is working in a condo where, you know, you have your parkades or there's maybe some piping maybe down there in the electrical room. When you go up top into condos, the very, very first floor is built off of that parkade typically, which means that the first floor is the finished floor, right? You're on the concrete. But when you go up to the second and third and fourth floor, they will pour liquid concrete after over this, because um, again, you'll have two bottom plates, which means that the liquid con concrete will cover one of them. And if you didn't catch it, all of your box heights will be an inch and a half too low. Okay, that will happen for your switches. That will also happen for uh, your plugs. I have one right there, okay? So again, be on the lookout for more um, roughing in videos. I am creating a, a, a dedicated playlist for these videos. Hope, um, hopefully it's just gonna be kind of be like a reference for you guys in regards to roughing in as a, an electrician. A lot of things that I wish I knew and just kind of best practices, okay? So that is mounting heights. Top of box is by far the easiest. You wanna think about above finished floor. And before you even get into the job, especially when it's a new job, everything kind of goes really, really fast. Look at the job site specs in the back of the prints. They, that's the engineer telling you exactly what they want. And it's gonna save you from a lot of problems, okay? So that's it for um, what you should be thinking about before you get into mounting boxes. We will then start talking about, you know, how to mount a single gang box, how to mount um, a double gang box, and then also how to mount uh, a triple gang box, just to be as like a reference for you guys to easily watch the videos whenever you need them. So again, if you wanna stay updated with my website here, becominganelectrician.com, you guys can get my free book for apprentice electricians. Just go to becominganelectrician.com forward slash subscribe. It's a really helpful book that I wish, you know, a lot of tips I wish I knew when I was an apprentice. Sometimes you get some really good journeymen, sometimes you don't, and I hope the book helps you out. Also, one last thing I wanted to say about 
boxing is it's highly, highly recommended to wear hearing protection just because it is so loud. Like there is a lot of uh, cutting with a saw, hammer use, um, and typically you wanna be using screws. A lot of companies, they try to cheap out. They try to make you use nails, um, but uh, you'll see in upcoming videos, it's like screws are by far the most enjoyable workflow. Yeah.